Right, so I just wanted to talk about consumables for the Cut 50 Plasma Cutter. Uh, there's a couple of different uh, types of consumable you can buy. You can buy short ones and long ones, so uh, let's take a look at them. Okay, so uh, there's a couple of different types of consumables you can buy. You can buy the standard consumables, which are what come with the machine when you buy it. You get a couple of spares in there. And also you can buy the extended consumables, which are slightly longer. I think that's the only difference between them. Uh, these ones you can get into uh, harder to, harder to um, access places, you know. And that's what I've got in the torch at the moment. These are the extended ones. Uh, I've been using these. Uh, because I've been making uh, templates out of wood and the extra depth on the tip obviously makes it easier for riding against an edge to cut out whatever you're going to cut. Uh, the standard ones, as you can see here, I've got that tip. Uh, that's the difference in the amount of stick out you've got. So, yeah. This is good if you're just like, you know, cutting steel freehand, but if so, you want to cut with like stencils or if you want to get into slightly harder to access places, like into a corner, uh, the extended ones are the ones for the job. But if you're just cutting steel normally, then the standard ones will do the job. Uh, the shield cups and the swirl rings on both sets of consumables are exactly the same and they're interchangeable the only difference is is the length of the electrode and the length of the tip so i bought a load of these consumables from banggood.com uh, they're really cheap on there and uh, i bought a set of the standards and a set of the um, extended ones as well i'll put a link I'll put a link in the description to them just in case you're um, interested in buying any. Okay, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.